saw you from across the room When our eyes met I never knew That I could feel this way And it's kinda strange Don't even know your name Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. All right, it is Monday in my household, Monday in yours. Happy Monday. I hope your day is going great. Maybe you're a little tired this morning. Sometimes we can be that way on Mondays. I think I read somewhere that the most depressing day of the week is Monday. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I can see that because it's like after the fun weekend and you're like, oh, back to work. But I know that I enjoy my Mondays. I'm like, okay, it's a new week. It's kind of like the weekend I kind of like get everything finished, not everything finished, but I feel like it's like a shutdown, relax on Sunday, and then like don't do a whole lot, like, see my sink? Oh yeah, see that? I put the dishes in the sink, but that was about as far as I got, and I did pick up to a degree because I knew today's gonna be busy, so my Sundays are just kind of chill, relax, sleep, I took a nap yesterday, you know, spend time with the kids, things like that. And then Monday I was like, okay, I'm gonna get to bed so I can get up and start my week. So I got up super early today, you saw my time. But I knew I had a busy day. I went to bed early, got my rest, and I'm like, okay, we have dentist appointments today. Dentist appointments, you know, when you got a bunch of kids, it takes time. But our dentist splits up the kids, and so today I just have to take two, but they all have to go. So I was like, okay, it's like in the middle of my day. I do have a lot to do, I have a lot of food to make. I'm like, okay, let's just get up early and get my work done, which I did over there. I made my little sticky note list of things I have to accomplish today. I'm like, okay, I've got this. Wiped my bathroom already. Got the laundry. I started it last night so that I did, like last week I had a lot and they didn't start till the morning. It took a long time. So I started one last night so that the laundry can get done. I still never put the baskets away on Friday. I think we did laundry and they're still sitting in the hallway, <laughs> but that's okay. It's like, we put ours away, but I didn't put the kids away. And I'm like, you know what? How we kept looking at them. I'm like, I'll just do more laundry on Monday. We'll put them all away. So that's okay. <laughs> so what we're going to do today is we're going to clean up the house. There's not much to clean up. Last night when we got home from church, picking up the kids, I told every kid, I called them upstairs. I'm like, everybody take everything that is yours and put it away. So I think that they did a pretty good job. I'm looking around. I feel like most of it's pretty good. And then um, downstairs, I said, just bring all the dishes up so we can put them in the sink. So that's why they're there. I already did a load of dishes in the dishwasher. I probably will load it again with these. I might, or I might hand wash them. We'll see what happens. And then um, pick up laundry. I have to get my school up for the week because I did not do that last week because last week we had our friends here, which was so much fun. And so I didn't really do any of the things that I do to prepare for my week. I didn't even get my menu or anything for the week. I'm like, we're just, we just have a lot of food, like a lot of fragments. We had so much food that we had with everybody. We just got eating. We've had rice, beans, and chicken tortillas and veggies and fruit all week, <laughs> every single day. And I'm like, I had a thing of chili in there, had some fried rice. I'm like, all right, <clears throat> gather those fragments and eat. So today I'm gonna prepare some meals and see how they, uh, what we're gonna come up with you know, to gather fragments out of the refrigerator. So I'm gonna do that today. I know I gotta get their school out, so we here a big giant mess. 
and I thought that I could take it to the dentist and get most of it done while we're waiting because you know you gotta wait for a while that time they go back get their cleaning come back all that fun stuff so that will help my day that way and then I signed up and got um, the kids to do the book it program through Pizza Hut and they get free pizza sign up if you have a homeschool thing I don't know if you can now mark it on your calendar in like August to sign up with book it for Pizza Hut every single month from I think it's September through March maybe or April I don't know what the month is but they give you free personal pizza I mean free for the kids so you can order it online and just go pick it up you just have to have your child go in and pick it up so that's like five free pizza or four free pizzas right there so then I can get Jade in Brooklyn just a small and that's like cheap lunch <laughs> so we're gonna do that today for lunch and then we'll come back and I'll finish up the things I have to do so I'll bring you along for our full entire Monday because <sighs> it's gonna be a busy day so he is ready to get going yes all right answer comments today and that's about as far as I got I have a lot of emails that I did not respond to this weekend and I'm like I need to get on that so I'm gonna put my earbud in I'm gonna get moving picking up the house the little things I need to do get the floors cleaned you know all the stuff you gotta do in a household so you guys ready to get going with our day we'll make some good food all that good stuff I have no motivation I, I took my little board over here and I'm like I need some kind of quote for the day but today's today's work is just gonna be move move and do <laughs> so you move and you just get things done you get up even though you feel tired and you do let's just do something maybe it's just washing dishes in your home get those dishes washed maybe you're nursing a baby and not feeling well and I completely understand look and see the one thing you can do for the day one thing maybe it will be just sweeping your floors and vacuuming just get that one thing as your goal that's a good thing i can do a lot because i don't have any little kids so i'm able to do my entire household i'm able to go to bed and sleep most of the night without getting woken up except maxine came in last night and woke me up at two in the morning i'm like maxine so i still get woken up a little bit <laughs> but we didn't go back to bed so my sleep is uninterrupted at night and that makes a huge difference if you're waking up two three four five times a night don't try to get up at four o'clock in the morning. No, that won't even do it for you. So you get the rest your body needs and there will come a time when those babies do sleep. I promise it might be three or four years down the road, but they do. They do learn to sleep more and more. Mine are, Stephen is seven. Life is a whole lot easier than it was when they were babies. So don't say, oh gosh, I gotta get up at four. No, you don't, don't get up at four. I didn't get up at four. I stayed up late when I had little ones because I knew they were in a sleep and that's when I got my stuff done. And then I just fell asleep with them and then in the morning that I could lay with them and nurse them and you can lay in bed and snuggle for a little bit. So you can do what you can do. Don't do four o'clock because that's, that's crazy when you got little kids, but I can do that with no kids. So, all right, we're gonna get going. I'm gonna go. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet first. We'll see what we're gonna do. So let's go have a great, fantastic day. We're gonna do some good things. We're gonna have some positive words. We're gonna smile at our babies. We're gonna smile at our husband, even if you don't feel like it. <laughs> and we're just gonna do, right? Yes, all right, let's get going and clean.
Okay, so the dishwasher's going, I'm washing my dishes, back into doing the floor. I've got, I'm waiting for a little towel so I can put the next load in. So I'm gonna start off good at 7.15 now. So I'm gonna work up a little bit, but I got all my kind of, you know, fragments up. I need, I'm gonna make some breakfast for the week because we were doing Sarah, we were doing oatmeal, but I'm going to do, my husband made blueberry pancakes for the kids. They love them, so, or so he says they love them. They all got eaten up. So I'm going to make, um, we have this quick here. This has been in my pantry for a little while, so I'm going to make up all that we have because I got those blueberries for a dollar, those fresh blueberries. So I'm going to mix up a bunch of these, cook them over here in the griddle. I'm going to do a couple eggs today, and not a lot because not everybody likes eggs. And then um, I'm going to make, I have this fruit here. We cut up a bunch of fruit when we had our friends here. This is kind of like where it's soft. It's okay. It's just like no one's going to eat that. I will, but kids are like, eh. So I'm going to mix this up with, I have a bunch of, <laughs> they're kind of falling everywhere yogurt cups now remember when i did the yogurt bars okay so i found out that there's a couple seeds on top i know sunflower seeds <clears throat> and the kids that love these are like oh there's seeds yes so i can only eat so much so what i'm gonna do is take these all off and sit them out for a little bit to kind of thaw i'm gonna put them in the blender and i'm just gonna pull them up because if they don't see the seeds then they taste good so i'm gonna put those in there with this fruit and I pulled out some bananas and some strawberries and bananas and strawberries will take over the flavor of like the oranges and um, apples, things like that that are kind of kind of dominate. So we're gathering the fragments. I'll make a big giant smoothie, they'll love it. I'll make pancakes and I'll make some eggs for breakfast. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Perfect. This tastes just like a smoothie and it's got it all mixed in. So what I did, I didn't make tons, but um, but what I did is, you know, so I'll put the yogurt cups in there, a little bit of almond milk, that bowl of fruit, and strawberries and bananas. So what I did is I made a bag, gathering fragments for tomorrow. I'll be able these are more muffin cups. I just took the papers off. I put the rest of the fruit, the mixed fruit, put some strawberries in, and the rest of the bananas. So I'm gonna put it back in my freezer 
it's frozen, and then tomorrow I'll pull up for breakfast, and I'll blend it in the blender and make it up for breakfast too. So super easy. I kind of skip making pancakes. All right, so I'm gonna continue with my pancakes. I realize I don't like like making pancakes. You know why? Because it takes a long time. My girls like making them. That's. <laughs> I guess it's okay if you just make one or two, or even for you know three or four people. But since I'm making that whole box, and I still have more to make, that's okay. Cook once, and I'll enjoy it all week long. So. This is gonna be good, right? So what I'm gonna do now is make two dishes for tonight, which is gonna be good. I pulled out a freezer meal. Where is it? Here it is. We're gonna do jambalaya. All I have to do is add rice to it, which is awesome. Usually I do it in the pressure cooker, but today I'm gonna try something different. I have new pans. These pans are from Deleteri. Deleteri means of the earth. So I thank you, Deleteri, for providing me with these products in exchange for my honest review my viewers so these i've always wanted to try the ceramic ware i've seen them i've seen other youtube users use them and i've always used, used stainless steel but i'm like they just these look so much nicer and i saw some at the store and i was like oh, do i try it i don't know so when deleteri said would you like to try our products i said i would absolutely like to try your products so this is about them it's ceramic cookware that does it all so <laughs> okay so like my pans obviously i can't put stainless steel in the microwave i can't put um ones in the oven right so what these do they can use it on everything says so you can use it on the grill microwave stove or oven that's pretty cool so what i'm going to do today is make my dishes in these pans water in these pans see how they clean up let you know how they work and how i feel about them so that's what we're going to do so this is the ones that i got the terry Features things like searing, you can confidently sear meat to lock in flavor before braising, then move the same dish to the oven to streamline cooking. Your prep, cleanup, and storage, you store food in fridge or freezer before or after cooking, safely microwave leftovers, then dish can go right into the dishwasher. Freezer to oven flexibility, prepare dishes in advance and store in freezer until ready then pop in oven to make dinner a cinch. It's safe for all foods. It's naturally non-stick without Teflon or PTFE and safe for all types of food regardless of acidity levels. It's lightweight and easy to handle. It's 43% lighter than cast iron, heats up to 4% faster and retains heat 19% longer. Deleteri. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I was watching, <laughs> my kids like Cake Boss and we used to watch it all the time when we had TV. So I just was scrolling through my YouTube and they had one and it was Cake House and it had um, Lisa, I think is her name, the um, buddy's wife, right? She did some of their family's favorite meals. And so there was one and she said it's so cool. I think it's, I'm gonna say it totally wrong. I should Google it and do it. See this word? Con, con, I don't know how to say it. Conjigly, conjigly, it's not how you say it. <laughs> Love at me, that's okay. Basically, it's shells, but she made one with broccoli and she said it was her kid's favorite meal. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make that. So I was happy, I happened to walk in Aldi the other day and I saw those. I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy those. And so we have a little bit of broccoli left over from when we had our friends visiting. So I'm actually gonna make this dish. It is super simple. I have to do it obviously a little bit different because you know, you always have to do things a little bit different because you're gathering your fragments. And so um, her recipe is pasta with broccoli recipe. It's Lisa's home cooking, it says. She um, used a large bunch of broccoli, the florets only, and she used a pound of pasta shells, half a cup of extra virgin olive oil plus two tablespoons, four cloves of garlic crushed, a teaspoon of salt, and a half a cup of grated Parmesan. Okay, I'm gonna do a little different because this is what I have. I have, this is gonna be considered a large bunch of broccoli. Hold on, I'm gonna flip these pancakes. Okay, so I'm gonna just use the broccoli that I have here. And then um, I do have the pasta shells. Instead of extra virgin olive oil, I'm gonna use grapeseed oil, which I'll put over there. That's the one I just use and like. Um, and no garlic fresh, obviously, so that's gonna be great. So I'm gonna do powdered granulated garlic. That'll work. <laughs> and it has salt, and then it has Parmesan cheese as well. So I have some in the freezer. So all you do is bring a pot of salted water to a boil, which I'm going to do in this pot. Okay, I'm gonna do mine a little bit different. I'm gonna boil my water first, cook the pasta, and then drain it. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of water in there. I'm gonna cook the broccoli, and then you just kind of um, smush it up against the side to get the liquid off. And then you leave a little bit of water inside there, and then you add the pasta and everything to it. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna see how this works. I don't know. I'll let you know how I like the ceramic pots. So I washed them out. I'm gonna add water.
All right, while that's cooking, um, cause it's gonna take a little bit of time to boil. I'm gonna make a little dish for myself. I love Brussels sprouts, and I know Lauren does too. So I'm actually gonna put, I have some rice cauliflower with Italian cheese. I'm actually gonna put that with some Brussels sprouts in the microwave dish, see how it works. And then um, steam that in the microwave, and then I'm gonna fry, have a little pan here, a little, which is great. I'm gonna have a lot of leftover veggies, like onions and peppers and celery. And I'm gonna just fry those up a little bit, maybe with a little bit of bacon bits, because I do like that. And then I'll mix that in with my um, rice, cauliflower rice, and the breast sprouts, and that'll be dinner for me tonight, which will be great, more like it too. So I'm gonna do that next, after I go flip pancakes. fan on over here so hopefully it's not too loud delish this tastes so so good so i added a little bit of vegetable mixture to it you didn't have to i just thought i did oh my goodness simple and delicious so i'm just gonna cover this and put it in the oven for today okay you saw me with the pot handles definitely get hot the saucepan the handle is not that hot at all it's just on the big pot so this is great so now what i'm gonna do is put in my um the mixture my what's this stuff called? My froze freezer meal, the jambalaya, and I just put that I have to add rice to it. So what I'm going to do is put it in this the same pot. I just rinsed it out, cleaned it out, and then I'm going to kind of cook it just for a few so that it's not a block of, you know, frozen ice. And then um, then I'll add my rice to it and let it simmer, and then that'll be dinner. Dinner will be done on two different dishes. Everybody will love that. So I'm put this back over here with the lid. So now I'm going to mix up in my container here with the Brussels sprout and rice. I'm going to add these veggies to it and a little bit of bacon. That's going to be a delicious dinner. That's going to be my I've got two healthy dishes finished, which is the and the pancakes. Big, lots of pancakes. So what I'm gonna do now is I have some celery. It was turning a little bit brown, and so I do wanna do something with it because I don't wanna throw it away. And I had an onion, and I've got some peppers. So I'm thinking tomorrow we'll do fajitas. So I'm actually gonna just saute those real quick. Just put them in the refrigerator so that way, tomorrow when Lauren has kids, she can make 
the heat is. I'm gonna use the same pot, pan. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion, like a sparrow with broken wings. But now I shine with your reflection on me. I'm getting back up on my feet. Still cooking? No, so good here I am. One of my viewers asked me how to put, I guess, the ring on the lid. And um, I haven't had to do that. So now I'm gonna do it. I'll show you how to do it. See, so this pops right back in. It goes right around that little metal ring and it just goes on, you should be able to turn it and it'll stay on there. So this is good. I'm gonna make hard boiled eggs. I was gonna cook some eggs, but I decided. Not just my time is getting shorter where I have to get everybody up and moving. And it's good. So I'm just frying the peppers. I'm just using a small pan to see what it's like. I could do any big one, but we're showing you how the del tore. Del tore. Tell it tell it tore. This is tore pepper. Pepper. How their pan works. So that's cooking over there. Almost done. So let's keep going. All right, okay, the fan finally shut off. Definitely cooler in here. Um, the Asian salad, you can make it super cheap. We bought those. I was intending to eat those last week, like different times. I didn't really know what we were gonna have or how the meals were gonna go, but I see they're kind of getting wilty, like we have to use them. So I'm just gonna put this in the refrigerator so we can have this tonight, and then I'll put the dressing on when we do have, oh, there was a hole in that. Put the dressing on it when we do eat it tonight, so it'll be good. Okay, so my um, freezer meal ooh, of my jambalaya is looking Super good. All I did when I made it was take onions, peppers, sausage cut up, and shredded chicken. And then I added Cajun seasoning, some tomato paste, diced tomatoes, and it's delicious. It tastes really good. That's what it looks like. Now I'm gonna add some rice. Keep your rice not and get mushy in that, just don't stir it. Stir it enough to get it in the liquid. I put my lid on and wait till it boils and then I'm gonna turn it down and let it simmer. I haven't done rice on the, on the stove in a long time, so. All right, this is almost done. I pick up my mess now and I got a whole slew of meals for today, tomorrow, and I know I'll have some leftovers and breakfast for, for a few days at least, so. This was a good, easy meal prep for me and I got some good stuff, let me show you. Ladies, unfolding the way that I want. Okay, so I got the kids up. They're eating their breakfast. Most of them did not recognize what was in their smoothie. Brooke, did you try your smoothie yet? <laughs> like broccoli. <laughs> it's spinach. No, it's not spinach. No, it's fruit. Like Autumn didn't like it. Can you taste? Okay, okay, she can't taste anything. She's all stuffy, getting over the crud or whatever they call it, this disgusting cough thing. So not disgusting. You're not disgusting. This is. So this is what I got for dinner. Consistency is nice. That's the consistency is nice. So this is all the food that I got for today. We've got our pancakes that we finished. This is good. Everybody had that for breakfast. We've got our salad here. We've got our grapes. Our grapes in here. 
two veggie trays. This is that Brussels sprout and cauliflower rice. Here's that delicious broccoli and noodles. This is gonna be the start of chicken fajitas and beef fajitas. So I figured tomorrow Lauren can just cook the chicken. Put it right there, but I wanted to cook it because it was getting soft. And then I did my eggs. I gotta put these with the lid. They kind of got bad. I, I put that ring on and didn't put it on all the way and it started like whistling and I had to stop it real quick. No big deal, just put it back on and you just take the pressure off so all the pressure can go out and then uh, I was able to restart it. So it did get a little messed up, but that's okay. This is the jambalaya. It's good. I was going to stir it, but it's still kind of simmering. You want to like boil it real low while you can see the liquid. So this is actually, it's pretty much almost done. You can see. I don't want to stir it, mess it up, but this will be dinner tonight. So I was going to leave this in here, put these in the oven, and we'll have this for dinner. So these are great. Nice. This is nice and not super hot. And then these ones. So I'll keep these covered and put them in the oven. So good products. I noticed the bottom here on my saucepan, when I cooked it on the flame, it did blacken. This doesn't scrub off very good, but it does come off of here. But my pots, if you look at every single one of my pots, on the bottom is black. So I think that just has to do with the cooking over open flame. Maybe not. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna stop filming because I gotta get everybody out the door in about a half hour. I'm gonna hurry up and get my school out so that I can take that with us and then we'll be heading to the dentist. We'll bring you along there too. All right, so the girls have been doing all the extra chores, which is good, so everything is getting done. I'm looking so white today. Okay, so the girls are doing um, all the extra chores, which is real quick, wipe the windows, dust real quick, got the floor robots in the bedroom going, they picked up their room real quick. I put the boys' laundry away with them, and so when we get back, all I have to do is fold towels, put the girls' laundry away, and I think that will be it. Jane to clean my car out. We're getting the girls' bedding, because it's our third week, so we wash their bedding, and then um, I got our school for the week put out, so I just put it with clips so I can grab it out. I got a pile, I'm gonna go put it in a bag to take to the um, dentist so we can get that done while we're there. Everybody's gonna take a water bottle with them and we'll grab their free pizza. So next clip, we'll be getting out the door. No, All right, just got the car. <gasps> Show's 30 degrees outside. It's frozen. So we're gonna, we just forgot two that didn't get water. So they're gonna grab waters and then we're gonna go head to the dentist. Okay, at the dentist, we're gonna go in right now. All right, out of the dentist. How many? Two hours later. <laughs> they did good. No cavities. Yay. We didn't have any cavities for the little kids, too, did we? Yeah, I don't think so. It was Jane and Brooklyn's time, so no cavities. So that's positive. So now I just ordered their pizzas a few minutes ago. I was smart. I'm thinking she was almost done. So I ordered their pizzas. We're going to go pick those up right now. Crazy. <laughs> All right, everybody got their pizzas. Three cheese, pepperoni, and ham. Everybody's happy, so now they're gonna eat. We're gonna go head back home to the mountain. All right, so we just got home. Freezing cold outside, so I am gonna get lunch. I did not eat yet today, so I just had my little snacks from when I was making food. You know, sampling everything. So I'm gonna do, I'm loving, I love the rice cakes with avocado and a little bit of hummus and my everything bagel topping. Bagel, everything bagel, bagel. We say it that way, that's a Northern Canadian accent. And it's funny because a couple of you commented that it was said wrong and the ones that were from the area that I was from, they're like, that's how we say it. I'm like, that's right. So I just smear a little bit of this on top just to get that flavor. And then I'm going to get, um, I have some avocados over here to eat up. So I'm gonna put those on as well. Okay, let's make it. Okay, so I'm doing school with Brooklyn right now. We're doing math, algebra, 
always a favorite. So what I'm doing is I'm sharpening pencils. Like I tell my kids we're sharpening pencils for genus, 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 <laughs> sharpening pencils for Jesus. So I'm gonna sit here and sharpen pencils while we're working on that together, doing two things at one time. I'm doing math with the girls. Oh my goodness, they're both doing the same algebra. So much not fun. <laughs> so, I'm actually gonna come in my car. It is freezing outside. It is 27 degrees out. Oh my goodness, everybody else, ugh. let me come in my car. It's probably gonna be frozen in here. Oh my gosh, I don't know if it's gonna work. Um, a lot of you said how cold it was today. I'm like, oh, I'm feeling your freezingness. Freezing! So, I need you, um, my abundantly blessed for the week because I don't have it. So, I'm gonna have to find a good place in this car. So, I'll be back in about, 45 minutes in a minute and I will finish our day up. All right, Abundantly Blessed is finished. It's cold. I think Jaden came out a couple times with my phone. <laughs> or she brought my phone, then it rang. I had to get it. So now I'm gonna go back inside, talk to you on an angle here. Go back inside and it's so cold. Let's see. Oh, look how pretty. Look at that sun, sun, not sunrise, sunset. Oh. Sorry, there will not be any kitty cats around anywhere because they are all nice and tucked away warm because it's crazy. Okay, let's go back inside the house. All right, had to get a phone call in there. So this is dinner. It all tastes so, so good. So we're gonna eat and I'm gonna close this video. I got applesauce out, put a little cinnamon sugar in their applesauce. We're gonna eat dinner at six o'clock right now. We're gonna eat, put the dishes in the dishwasher. Um, I'm gonna work on this video. That's gonna take me a couple hours and then uh, it's good. So it's gonna be a good day. So I thank you guys for always watching. We're gonna see you tomorrow with less stuff and more life. We'll be back Wednesday with a day in the life of, of my life. So, okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow. All right.